Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Today we will have another interesting video as we're going to be learning how to fix perspective distortion in Pixelmator Pro. While it is not always necessary to fix distortion, if you shoot architecture, it might be something to consider to improve the look of your photos. Or perhaps you might want to do the opposite, add more distortion for creative effect. But before we learn to fix perspective distortion, let's first understand what perspective distortion is. Perspective distortion is not the same as lens distortion, which is caused by a lens error. You can tell it's lens distortion because straight lines will look curved or have dark corners, which is also called vignetting. So unlike lens distortion, perspective distortion is not caused by a lens error. It occurs when you shoot very close to the subject typically with a wide-angle lens, such that the lines, which should be straight, increasingly converge the farther it is from the camera. Now that we know what perspective distortion is, how do we correct this in Pixelmator Pro? Well, to correct perspective distortion, you can use the Transform tool. The Transform tool lets you easily transform images, text, shapes, or layer masks. You can resize, position, or rotate layers. You can also slant, stretch corners, and change perspective. All of these tools are going to be useful when we make perspective distortion corrections. The transform tool has four modes. The first is called free transform. Second is slant an object. Third is stretch an object. And fourth is change perspective. All right, so let's fix perspective distortion now. The first thing we need to do is to bring up the transform tool. You can bring up the transform tool via going to edit and then clicking transform. And that brings us to the transform tool. Alternatively, you can also use the shortcut command T and that brings us to the same tool. So for a simple image like this, the easiest way to correct this is just to use the perspective mode. And that is the fourth option here. When you hover over it, you can see that it says change the horizontal and vertical perspective of the object. So let's just click on that. So the way to use this perspective mode, just drag the handles to counteract the converging lines. So for this one right here, obviously the converging lines are, are wider at the bottom. So we can just counteract that via just dragging the handles to form a inverse trapezoid. And you can see how the lines now are made straight. Now we can also rotate. Just place your mouse outside the grid and the cursor will turn into this curved double arrow here. And you can just rotate it in order to make the horizon straight here. And as you can see, when you do perspective distortion, there will be some gaps created which you need to crop out. Of course, you could use the crop tool or you can just scale the image accordingly. So to scale this image, you can use the first option here which is the free transform mode. And, then you, and when you hover over it, it says freely change the size of the object. So we, since I want to scale this to remove the gaps, I'm just gonna click this first mode here. And you can see the behavior of the handles are now a little bit different. Okay, so as I drag the handles, you can see now it's actually gonna resize the whole thing. And we can click apply to that. And there you have it. All right, so this was the before and the after. Before and the after. So the perspective tool works great for simple type of problems like this. But let's move on to another photo and let's see whether this perspective tool will also work just as well. All right, so this is the second photo now. So once again, let's try using the perspective tool to correct this. As you would imagine, I was standing right next to this building. So you can see there were converging lines vertically as well as horizontally. And so we want to correct this and make sure the lines are straight throughout this building. So let's bring up the transform tool by pressing Command T on the keyboard. And then let's use the perspective tool and see if we can correct this. So I'll just click on the perspective tool here. And then let's again try to straighten the lines both vertically and horizontally. So I'm just going to again counteract the perspective upward. And you can see that the lines are also converging horizontally. So let's try to 
adjust that now. Okay, so this is a horizontal perspective adjustment. When you talk about perspective adjustment, you can use this mode right here, or you can also use the sliders down here, which will do the same thing. Okay, let's click apply to that so we can take a look at it. Okay, so this is the result. And you can see the lines were straightened, but the effect is not exactly what we want. The proportions do seem unnatural just using the perspective tool. So I'm just going to undo this. All right, so if the perspective tool does not work, you have the option to use alternative tools. I would recommend the third tool here, which is the stretch object tool. And as you hover over it, it says here, stretch the object in any direction. Okay, so I find that this tool is more flexible when dealing with more complicated distortion problems. So first I'm going to click on the third tool, which is what I want. So I'm just going to move the handles to counteract the converging lines. So you can see that the handles move independently of each other. So it's much more granular in its control. So the vertical distortion is taken care of here. And now let's Let's try to fix the horizontal distortion here. So what I can do here is just stretch this corner to make the line straight. So the nice thing about this stretch object tool is you can actually compress this. So if the correction makes the image unnaturally wide or unnaturally high, you can actually compress it with this middle handle right here. This middle handle does not work in the perspective tool, just in the stretch tool. Okay, so let's just make it stand up a little bit straight here. All right, that's looking pretty good. So unfortunately, because we made large distortion correction, there will be gaps that are gonna be created in the image, which you need to crop out. So let's just do that now. I can just click on apply here, and then just use the crop tool to crop the image here. And there you go. Let's now do the comparison. This was the before and the after. Before and the after. And you can see with this correction, both the vertical line and the horizontal lines are now straight. And so I recommend this tool for harder distortion problems where you want more control over the way you straighten the lines. All right, so let's just do one more very quickly something a little bit more extreme here. And let's just straighten the lines of this particular image. This was just taken with an, with an iPhone 10. Let's straighten the lines here with the same methodology we did with the previous image. So I'm just gonna bring up the transform tool, Command T. Again, I want full control, so I'm gonna choose the third option here, which is stretch the object mode. And let's just straighten the lines. To make it a little bit more challenging, let's straighten both the vertical and the horizontal here. All right, so let's do the comparison. This is the before, and that's the after. Before and the after. So that was an illustration of some of the tools of Pixelmator Pro for correcting distortion. As mentioned, you don't always have to correct distortion. It's really up to your personal preferences, whether you think it will make your images look better. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Till the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.